Okay, so I want you guys to think about porosity like a fabric. Your hair strand is, your hair is literally fabric. Now, this is my hair with a porosity filler in it with a light butter over it in the curls, chef's kiss. Okay, let me explain to you why. If we're looking at hair like fabric, these are the different fabrics I have to show you. This is mesh, this is cotton, and this is like a, a polyester, okay? So we're gonna say this is high porosity hair, right? I know you follow me, you see it happening. This is normal porosity, because sometimes we're always just talking about, sometimes we're always, Sometimes we're just talking about high porosity and low porosity that we forget that there's a normal porosity. It's in there. So then we have low porosity, okay? So think about hair as a fabric and how would water go onto a fabric? How would it behave? Let's do low porosity first. Look what's happening. All right, let's do normal porosity. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And now let's do high porosity. You see how those fabrics are absorbing water? Now let's go back to our low porosity and let's press on it. So let's go back to our low porosity, but let's massage it in there a little bit. My little band is pop. But let's massage, okay? Massage. Sometimes low porosity hair you need to press that water in and use warm water to really get that in there, which is why steaming helps, which is why shampooing your hair often helps. The more this fabric can stay softened with water, the better it's going to absorb that water and that moisture. So you have to keep that in mind, okay? Now, normal porosity. Normal porosity is gonna do a thing. It's going to absorb it. It's going to be fine. The water is going to go in there. High porosity. Look at that. Now let's watch the reverse happen. Say we're trying to, I'm going to massage some water into this low porosity hair so we can get some water in there. You see what's happening though? Because I'm massaging it, it's stretching the threads, the cuticle, so that water can actually get through there. Otherwise, it's so tightly bound that water can't even get through. So we have to kind of stretch those threads for water to get through there, okay? So we've got our water in here sitting in our hair strand. We've got our water sitting in our high porosity hair strand. But look how moisturized normal porosity hair looks. You see it's swelling. You see how the water is swelling it? We're gonna save that for another video because it's giving hygro fatigue if we're not careful, all right? You're following. Okay, so we see it sitting in there. <clears throat> when you wet a fabric, it swells that fabric. You follow me? All right. So we wet a fabric, it's gonna swell the fabric. So it makes it easier for that fabric to absorb what you're going to put in. So now, this is high porosity hair. We didn't put the water in, you didn't put your product in, you didn't styled it. Look what happens. Psych, it's coming right back out. Psych, psych, gone. Now, let's look at our low porosity hair. I have to hold this because, look at that. Come on now, do you see the water in there? Come out, come out. So it's not coming out because that's what low porosity hair does. This is gonna dry so quickly. Look, the top is already almost drying. You only see a few wet spots. Here, this whole thing is swelled with water because it's going to hold the water. Your hair is going to literally be wet forever. Now, let's take normal porosity hair. It's normal, right? Look, there's still water sitting in here. You see that? It's coming out at a reasonable time. It's holding in at a reasonable time. And this is what you want. That's where all of your products come into place. Your porosity filler is essentially going through and covering this fabric with other fabric to make sure these holes don't let the water come out so quickly. Same thing, you see my swimsuits back here? I was like cutting up my old swimsuits for y'all because I'm trying to get y'all this education, okay? Okay, anyway, so here, look how tightly bound cotton fabric is, but it's still airy and breathable. That's the type of cuticle that's a healthy cuticle. And now this one, it's so tightly compact that literally you have to massage it and apply heat and keep adding water to it for it to 
and keep adding water to it for it to be pliable. Then water is finally getting in. So if we're thinking about characteristics of hair and your hair is low porosity, this fabric is literally going to stay wet probably for the next three hours, okay? The threads are gonna be swelled and it's gonna stay wet until it starts to evaporate and go away. This is probably going to stay wet for maybe another 30, 40 minutes and then it's going to dry. This, look, it's almost dry now. This is the only wet part of this mesh. High porosity hair, it dries so quickly and everything just evaporates so quickly. So we will build on this, but I wanted to give you this visual first so that we understand that hair is fabric. If you could understand that hair is fabric, it changes the way you think about hair and how it absorbs things.